So this, is, this video is not using a very specialized technique to quarter saw. This video is about don't worry about the technique that you're using, worry about the grain orientation. We're going to talk about quarter sawing today. It doesn't really matter how you do it, here's what you should be doing. So there's lots of ways to quarter saw a log. If you're interested in winning any arguments about what quarter sawing and rift sawing really is, if you're tired of going on forums and Facebook and people go, oh man, I know what quarter sawing is, I, I, that's, that's all a bunch of crap. There is a national organization that standardizes the definitions of quarter sawn wood for the United States. And if you're going to deal in quarter sawn wood, either produce, sell, buy, market, or just argue about it, there's only one place you need to look to find the true definition. It doesn't really matter how you do it, here's what you should be doing whether you're using a manual mill, hydraulic mill, whether you're using a chainsaw mill, whether you're using an ax and a fro, which by the way, was how the original quarter sawn wood was produced. So back in the old days, they would take a fro, they'd cut a block of wood, split it right here on these rays because it's easier to split and then they would hand plane the boards down and you would naturally get a quarter sawn board and it would show what's called ray fleck, which are the little ribbons that carry the water horizontally through the log. Since they're waterproof, they have a certain reflectance or chatoyance whenever you're quarter sawing. And I, the reason I want to do it with this log is because there's a fairly distinctive crack right here. And that crack is important when quarter sawing because that is the ideal direction that your board should be oriented. In order to make quarter sawn wood, you really need to have a specific angle relative to the growth rings. And in this case, these cracks give you a perfect guide. I mean, Mother Nature's helping you out. If you follow the cracks, you're going to have quarter sawn wood. Doesn't matter what technique you use. So when you're looking at this, let's look at the cracks. I'm going to use my crayon. Now I am an engineer and I have been called a pencil pushing engineer, but the reality of it is real engineers use pens because you don't have to erase. Real engineers don't make mistakes. Experienced engineers don't make mistakes. They double check their calculations before they put them to paper. If that makes any sense to you. If you're an engineer, you'll know what I'm talking about. And now that I'm a lumber professional, I've gone back and I've started using crayons again. The only difference is these are professional crayons. They're for lumber people, which I, which I are, right? Uh, I prefer blue. When I was in grade school, I liked gold with my 60, 64 Crayola pack with a sharpener in the back. So let's, let's mark these lines, these cracks, where they are. There's one, there's one. Ooh, there's a bunch right here. Let's see here, I'm gonna try to get they typically will radiate out from the pith. There's a big one, right? Trying to, ooh, I don't know, there's a big one. Can y'all see that one? You can see some out here, and here's a nice one. The reason I'm doing this is when I'm sawing this log, you'll see that I'm gonna try to maintain my alignment to these lines, that line's no good, to these lines, using the saw, quarter saw technique that I happen to be using at the time. I may even switch mid, midstream, it just kind of depends. I may go from, um, hang on a second, I'm marking a log here. I have to think to mark this thing. And then the grain, it's going. And then out here, it gets really funny because no logs are perfect, but you get the idea, I hope. Hey, Chip. So 
go. <laughs> one year quarter sawing. The key is no matter what technique you're using, whether you're using the conventional technique, whether you're using the jelly roll, whether you're using something you just made out and if you did more power to you, you always want to be sawing as close to perpendicular of these growth rings as possible. And typically, that's always in line with the cracks that you're seeing in the log. So when you're quarter sawing, if you want to get a guide to being perpendicular to the growth rings, you use these cracks as a calibration guide to make sure that you are on target. For example, if you're sawing perpendicular to these growth rings right here, right here, I'll use this big crack, and you're not typically aligned with this crack when you're taking a board. I mean, you'll be above or below, you're not gonna saw the crack, but then you're probably a little bit off target. For example, if, you're, if you happen to be sawing a board and it looking some crazy angle, that ain't gonna be quarter sawing. So the idea being is that no matter which technique you use, either four, either old school, conventional, off the bottom, doesn't matter. Use these lines as a guide. I kind of tried to, a little off camera work, tried to illustrate where the boards should look like as they're being brought out of the log. The key is that no matter what quarter sawing pattern you use, you've got two steps. First step, set the log up so that you're always aligned down the axis of the log the blade goes in here, it's got to come out on the other end. I typically like my alignment to be within a quarter of an inch. It'd be hard on this log because the crack's that big, but I like to align the blade to within a quarter of an inch if possible. And then as I'm going to take a board, whatever technique I use, I want my board to be as parallel to the crack, which puts it perpendicular to the growth rings as possible. There's a crack, just make a straight line, come here, make a straight line, there's my growth rings. That'll be a quarter saw on board and we'll show Ray Fleck as long as I've done those two steps. Let's saw this thing up. I'm tired of using my crayon. I'm about wore it out. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.